So say you've been doing some searching in a library database and you've found a few articles that are exactly perfect for the kind of research that you're doing. You might be wondering, how can I find other articles that are along the same lines of research? Well, you can use the articles that you've initially found in the library database search as a jumping off point to find additional information that might be helpful for your research. This video will show you how. Here we're looking at an example of an article's record landing page in the database ERIC. We've run a search in the ERIC database using the following keywords, science education and language or vocabulary, and we're looking for it in the elementary school context. We found an article, The Role of Language and Literacy in K-5 Science and Social Studies Standards, and after reading the descriptors here and reading the abstract or summary of the article, we've determined that this is a pretty good one for our research, and we're wondering how can we find more like these. A great research tip is to use the reference list or works cited page from this article as a means to find more information that will help you on your way to research. So let's go ahead and open up the PDF full text of this particular article. To do that, we need to click on the full text finder link. And then when you get to a page that looks like this, usually you want to click on the link that has the little piece of paper next to it. Now we're looking at the full text of this particular article. And a great first step when you found an article that you really like for your research is to go straight straight to their reference list or works cited page all the way at the end of the article and start scanning it for ideas for other articles or books or other types of information that you can actually use for your research. So let's take a look at one. Say after scanning the reference list, you found this particular article from the Journal of Educational Psychology to be one of interest. This is the citation of the article that we're looking at, and the citation provides all the pieces of information we need for actually locating this article at Jank. The first thing that you need is the title of the journal, in this case, Journal of Educational Psychology. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that, and then go over to our library homepage, where we'll use the third tab over in the Search the Library section, the Journals tab. For the purposes of this search, since we know the name of a specific journal that we're looking for, we're going to use this top search option, looking for specific journals, magazine, or a newspaper search journal finder. So go ahead and click on the search journal finder link and then paste in the title of that journal that we're looking for. And what we're doing here is we're searching across Gordon's resources to ask ourselves, does Jank's library have access to this particular article? And if it does, the title of the journal will appear with access options listed below it. In this case, we only have one, this uh, database psych article articles contains all issues back to 1910 of this particular journal. So we're going to go ahead and click into psych articles. Now we're looking at the landing page for the journal itself. The next piece of information that we need from our citation is to know exactly what year and what volume and issue number it was actually published in. So in this case our article was published in 2017 in volume 109. So we're going to go back to our results records in journal finder and click into 2017 and then we have a bunch of issues for 109. So this particular phase, notice that that's all the location information I am given for this particular article. So I'm actually going to use the page numbers here, 301 to 320, to guess which issue I think that this might be in. Since my page numbers are early on in this particular citation, I'm guessing that my article is going to be located in somewhere in one of these beginning issues. So we're going to try issue number three to begin with. But please note, there's also this search within this publication link right here that you could use to do some fast searching within the journal as well. Let's click into issue number three because we're in the 300 page range here. I'm just going to do another double check on my citation to get the title of the article that we're looking for, acquiring science and social studies knowledge. And then I'm going to scroll down through this list of 10 issues published within this journal in year 2017. The very first article is the one that we want. And since we are searching in journal finder, you'll have links to the full text right below the uh, record information about this particular article. So we could click on the PDF and here is another potential scholarly article for our research. So hopefully that you can see that searching by someone's reference list and trying to find some of these articles can be a really powerful and quick way to help build your own bibliography. If you have any questions, don't forget you can ask Jake's.